1217 now and we're looking live again outside though not much to look at outside right now it's just wet and rainy yeah gray and wet and that's the way it'll stay through the afternoon mm -hmm. though we're not looking at that deluge that we yeah, had good. earlier in the day but still the rain will continue let's take a look at that radar you can still see that all that green continuing to funnel into southern new england we had a bit of a break for a while now we're seeing that rain starting to return to most of southeast new england got a lot of rain and the most of that rain was right here in south county especially in the peacedale area and parts of uh, uh, Narragansett. In fact, we picked up generally between three and seven inches of rain. You saw that rain amount uh, about 10 minutes ago uh, there in Peacedale, approaching seven inches. Kingston picked up six. Wakefield, about five inches. Charlestown, about four inches. Middletown, close to three over in southeastern Mass. New Bedford, and on over into Fairhaven, picked up between two, three inches of rain. And we're watching the uh, rivers very closely. The Patuxet now in minor flood stage expected to crest tonight at about 10.6 feet. Uh, Taunton not expected to flood, nor is the Blackstone, but the Wood and Pawkatuck rivers are expected to go into minor flood stage over the next 24 hours. Meanwhile, the light rain continues to fall across the area. We've got a temperature of 59 northeasterly wind, 18 miles an hour. Tough to warm up when you've got a, a wind like that, the rain and the clouds in place, only looking at highs around 60 or so during the afternoon hours. And that's pretty much where all the temperatures are. So our threat tracker for today, we continue with this weather alert. We've got the flooding continuing across parts of the area, especially in South County. Also have that river flood warning for the Patuxet. We are expecting lighter afternoon rain. I mean, lighter than what we had this morning. It's still going to be raining for a good portion of the afternoon and staying chilly and breezy. We dry out starting tomorrow and into Saturday. So the culprit is this area of low pressure off to our south. It's going to be drifting away and slowly the rain will come to an end as we go through the afternoon, but we're still looking at rain probably into the early evening and I think by 8 o'clock, much less in the way of rainfall in our area. Just a couple of lingering showers and as we go into Friday, looking a lot better. Blend of sunshine and clouds and as a result, we're looking at warmer temperatures as well. And it looks like this will continue into the weekend. All right, forecast for today. Heaviest of the rain, that's behind us. Now we're looking at some lighter showers for the rest of the afternoon. As, you, as we talked about, highs only around 60 degrees. Now for tonight, a little cooler, down to 52 with some evening showers and then drying out throughout the rest of the night. Here's your seven-day forecast. Let's take a closer look at your Friday because it's just going to be that nice. Upper 60s to around 70 in the afternoon. Rain chances low through the day on Saturday and on Sunday. Blends of clouds and sunshine looking good. Any graduations this weekend or any outdoor plans, sporting events look to be good. Mid 60s with a blend of clouds and sunshine. And you know what? It's going to be pretty nice all, most of next week as well. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, sunshine temperatures in the lower 70s. Just need to get rid of this rain. I think we'll finally start to lose it this evening. And what I do love, even though we won't be able to enjoy it tonight, is those sunsets after 8 o'clock now. 8 o'clock sunset tonight, and it'll be uh, like that until, I think, August 5th, 8 o'clock sunsets. All right. Thanks, TJ. In stories we're working on new tonight coming up on 12 News starting at 4, the latest appeal coming from former Fall River Mayor Jaisal Correa as he's trying to get out of prison sooner. Target 12 breaking down the federal court filings. Then coming up at five, pension problems. Target 12 investigator Tim White reports on a battle between a municipal court judge who was stripped of his pension and state and city leaders. And at six, Target 12 also looking into a new use for a recently closed Providence Elementary School. Join us for the coverage you can count on tonight starting on 12 News at 4. In medical